here. So Chloe has her scene set up. Go ahead and hit six in your perspective view. Just tap the six. Good, and then go back to your camera one, hover your mouse over your camera one and go up to show. And we wanna turn off the uh, NURBS curves. Yep, and turn. you can turn them on in your perspective view. Go ahead and go up to show and turn on the uh, NURBS curves there. Yeah, so I want you guys to think of your perspective view as your working camera. The actual camera is only, only think of that as a camera that you're gonna uh, use for visuals to see where your um, staging is and your characters coming in and out, but you actually wanna move things around in your perspective camera. Okay, so that character has the rig working. So go ahead and go to um, right click on your sheriff con. I'm sorry, oh. the, in the layers. Oh, in oh, layers. Let's do it. Let's do another thing. So, um, your yeah, your geometry is selectable, but it's not keyable, which is good. You don't want to key it, but let's go ahead and restrict it so you don't accidentally restrict your or move. Try to move your your characters. So where it says uh, whichever one is your sheriff layer, yeah, go ahead and put ours in there. Good. All right. And now the only thing that we're going to animate are the controls. Um, you've already restricted your back plane and your ground plane. So um, right click on your sheriff cons and say select objects. And you know what, can you bring up your um, hypergraph for just a second? Go to the perspective view and make that hypergraph real quick. All right. So again, this is, um, we're starting animation. So she just, she already added all of her cons to her sheriff cons layer. And this is really important. When we start to animate, we're going to key all of the controls of the character. Uh, there's something called an all button. And we're basically using this cons layer as the all button. She's at frame 100. So this is one frame before the actual animation. She's going to go ahead and hit S now. Go ahead and hit us. All right. Does it matter which uh, panel I'm hovering over? No. All right. OK, so she just hit S, which stands for set. And you can see that all of her um, controls turned uh, into parallelograms that she had selected, all the, all the yellow ones. And you can also see in the channel box, they all have a red um, bar, which means, and it, can, now can you go back over to the um, graph editor where there's a slider to the left? Down here? No, uh, the graph sure. editor where um, you see Sheriff Waste Con and then Translate X, Translate Y, Translate Z. Yeah, just above, yeah, just to the right of that, there's a slider. Go ahead and slide that down. Yeah, grab oh. that and drag it down. So oh, wow. that has um, everything that she's showing right there. That shows all the translate, rotate, scales, visibility, all the attributes for each one of those controls. So you're talking about base, waist, chest, neck, head, and all the toes. And we're keying them all, even though we may not be animating them all, we want to key them. And then, so with those keyed, go ahead and um, hold down the Alt button and hit the greater than sign once. Okay, so um, you're at 101, good. So this is where yeah. we're actually gonna start our animation. Go, go ahead and hit S again. And if she, yeah, go ahead and, uh, we'll zoom out and make a, a marquee around everything in the graph editor and hit F. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it made a, I think it legitimately just took away. It took away, huh? So the other know. thing I want you guys to notice is in the graph editor, after she hit F, there's now a little square in front of each one of the attributes. There's a red square in front of translate, a, red, a green square in front of translate Y, a blue square in front of translate Z. When you see, and, and when you see those little red squares, that means you have the object select the the key selected in your graph editor. So oh, there's yeah, a key there. Hold see on. if you can zoom in there, so we can. I don't know where it is. I I just lost it, but I swear I saw one. Okay. Um, yeah, there is keys in there. Yeah, I think it's just zoomed in really far. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, far away because we're like at 600. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, there we go. Okay, there. That's what we we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm so, following. Yeah. So uh, to start this scene, the cow, the the sheriff is not in the scene yet, right? At frame 101, he's yeah, not no. on the scene. Okay, so go ahead and grab the um, 
the base con. Oh, well, wait, so on. you've already you, so you've already keyed everything at frame 101, which is good. But now we're going to actually move him, and we don't want to move all the keys at once. Go ahead and just just to give an example of what not to do. Go ahead and pull that yellow arrow, and you'll see he, yeah. he the rig breaks. So you don't want to move everything all at once. We're we're just trying to get him onto the scene or or out of the scene right now, and we're, you're going to do that with a base con. So go. Even though you've keyed everything at, at 101, now we need to actually move the base by itself. So go to the base con. Or actually, uh, so you can use, you can use the hypergraph. You can use the hypergraph. Okay. Go ahead and go back to, yeah, you can just select that one. In the perspective view, it's easier, but yeah, we'll just, as long as we have the hypergraph. Go ahead and yeah, pull them off okay. screen at 101. Okay, we don't know how far he needs to be off screen for him to come in, but let's just, for now he's off screen. The other thing to consider, um, let's go ahead and make your, your um, hypergraph, turn that back into the perspective view. Okay, so the other thing is he's facing the camera. Most likely when he's gonna be coming into the scene, he's gonna be facing the, the other guy, the outlaw, right? Yeah. So go ahead and hit uh, E to rotate him. And you're gonna rotate him like 90 degrees in the Y axis. Yeah, something like that, 118 or whatever, negative 118. Good. Okay, I'll, so I'll literally just make it 90. Yeah, you can you can just okay, put it. Okay, well, negative 90. There you go. Okay, so he's pretty much set up for the first um, for his first pose. He's off screen, so let's go ahead and go to the other character. And yeah, and so in your remember, you're not going to work in the camera view, but you're going to use your perspective view to is your working camera. So yeah, kind of right, pull I'm gonna it over. Take the yeah, so there I can actually see the base con. Yeah, there you go. Um, so remind me, was he gonna? Is he off screen to start with, and then he's gonna bust through the doors of the bar and then run to the left? Um, yeah, I put him behind the uh, back plane because he kind of just like can come through this door a little bit. Okay, but before we get him animated, we also need to um, check his his all button his his cowboy con and make sure that everything yeah. is is selectable so yeah right click on on the cowboy con and say select objects now it looks right. like everything's selected but just to make sure let's go back to the hypergraph and, and double check that we actually have everything selected so hit f and zoom out yeah so we have the same issue it's just the msr that's selected and not the actual cons so go ahead and go back to All the right. The cowboy cons. Right click. Or I'm sorry, select your yeah, say select objects. So you have the yeah. cow you have the MSR selected. Now go back to cowboy cons and say remove selected object. The layer, yeah. Remove. Now it, it shouldn't there shouldn't be anything in there. So now I'll go ahead and shift select each one of the cons the base, the waist, the, ch the chest, the neck, and the head, and then the toes. And actually, uh, go ahead and um, select the, the, the bag of money, the con for the bag of money as well. If that's, right. this, if that's its own con, if you created a con for that. All right, yeah, I think that's okay. the end of them. Okay, so those are all the cons. Right, right click on your con, cowboy con again, your layer, and say add selected. Okay, so um, ideally, this character at um, at one hundred at the safety frame at one hundred should be at zero zero zero, but it looks like he's off. So. Um, when you import your characters and make sure they come in at zero, 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 and that's where you're gonna key them um, for frame 100. But let's just say that that's working for now, just to save time. So you're gonna key it at 100 and you're also gonna key it at 101 like you did the other character. So you hit S All right. for 100 and 101. Okay, so at 101, so you've keyed everything. So go ahead and grab the MSR. I'm not the MSR, the base con for this guy. 
And now let's drag him to the. Or I'm gonna w. change this back to perspective just so yeah. I can see. Yep. Oh great. Uh oh. His his rig broke again. Uh, did you fix this one? I thought this one was fixed. Yeah, I thought this one was fixed as well, but I guess not. Okay. Well, let's just say that that one was fixed. Um, you would uh, at 101, you would put him off screen, and then. How long did it, did it take for you to, um, is he, are you gonna give him like a second, like 24 frames for him to be off screen? And then he, like at 125, he jumps into the scene? Yeah, about, about that much probably. Okay. So, gosh, I'm tempted to just have you- want you me to fix this really fix quick? It. Yeah, go ahead and fix it real quick. I'm gonna pause the video. All right. Um. Okay, so Chloe's positioned her characters off, off set. And she's at frame 101. So now the, the bad guy, he's going to come into the scene. But before he does, we're going to give the audience um, 25 frames or a second to um, understand what's going on. So go ahead and key him again at, uh, in fact, go ahead and select the all button, cowboy cons. And yeah, select, every, select objects. And then in your, in your graph editor, zoom out enough so that you can see frame 125. Or you could just drag it to 125. There you go. And go ahead and hit yeah. S. And you might want to do the same. Well, you're, you're not moving him yet. So yeah, that's fine. So you've keyed the, the main character at 125. Now we're going to introduce him. So we've given the audience a whole second to see the environment without the characters. Go ahead and select the base con. And do you think it'll take him a second to, to jump into the scene or is it gonna be more or less or longer? Um, I'm not sure because I was kind of just uh, playing with it, but. Um, yeah. So one thing you can do, like the way I've been thinking is, I, um, I think in seconds when I'm, when I'm setting up my layout and if, if a second is too fast, then I can drag the timing slower if I've selected everything. So let's just give him another second to, to get there. So go to 150. And then drag him and forward so he, he's in the scene. Well, not yet. Go ahead and, oh. in fact, you don't even have to hit S on that one because uh, as soon as you have your auto keyframe toggle on, you can see as soon as you pulled him forward, Move it. auto ah. keyframe toggle immediately set you a key for the, um, the base con. The problem is it didn't set a key for anything else. So go ahead and right click on your um, cowboy or your, yeah, your cowboy con and select objects again. And then you're going to hit S at 150. There we go. So this is a really important concept that I want everyone to get. When you're setting the key poses and the mid the, the breakdown poses, you want to key everything. Even if you haven't moved the head or you're not necessarily planning to move the head, go ahead and key, hit S every time on your keys and your breakdowns. With your in-betweens, you can start to um, maybe use some of the spline tools and we'll get to that. But Make sure every time you're, you're moving your character, even if it's just the MSR moving them off screen like we've been doing, key everything. Okay, so he's on screen. How long is he going to stay there? 1,001, 1,002. And then he looks to the Maybe to the, two seconds. Right. Okay, so go ahead. Um, let's, yeah, go to frame 200. And then hit S again. So... At 200, what happens? Does he look to the right? Uh, actually, maybe maybe it would take like a second for him to look to the right. I don't okay, know. so actually, just go go to uh, frame um, 175. Yeah, just drag that yellow to 175 and hit S. Oh, wrong. At 175, yeah. Okay, so from 150 to 175, he's just there. We're just appreciating he's there. Uh, at 200, he uh, starting at two, uh, maybe around 200, maybe sooner. He's going to look to the right, right? Yeah. Okay. So instead of instead of rotating the 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 base con, um, he because you're not gonna when you're when you're looking to the right, you're not actually gonna like reposition your whole body to the right. This is where we can yeah. actually start to use the rest of the rig. 
So let's just give this a test. Go ahead and grab the waist con and above. Grab the waist, the chest, the neck, and the head. All right. I think it's selected. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the the hat is is it part of the selection or is it yeah, hat on the, the hat in the bag apparently. Um. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and restrict the hat so you don't accidentally select the hat and the bag. All right. Anything that's geometry, you want to restrict it so that you're just selecting and animating the um, the controls. I can get yeah, it, it. I don't know why. Um, well, it's it's because it's um, it's parented, so that's why it's. But at least it, you're not actually selecting it. That's the important thing. Okay, so yeah, rotate okay. him to the right, like just until his face is like close to ninety. Oh, your your, your bag. Are you going to rotate the bag too, or did you want to leave it there? That um, might make sense because if I'm holding something, it might I'm make rotating. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and rotate him. So he's going to look to the right. And um, zoom out a little bit so I can see the full graph editor. All right. It's really yeah. Accurate, so yeah. so it's really tall. So you wanna you wanna um, expand it. So hold down the Alt and the Shift key at the same time, and then drag left and right, and that should expand it. So it gets smaller. So it's not so we tall. We drag uh, what left and right. So hold down Shift and Alt at the same time in the graph editor. Yeah. And then I believe it's the right mouse or the middle mouse. Try either one. There you go. Oh, geez. Yeah, just keep doing that until it spreads out better for you. Okay. So. In fact, you might just hold down the alt first and zoom out first because it's probably just, um, there you go. That's better. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he looks to the right and let's say he, he takes another second to, uh, absorb what he's seeing. So 200 plus. I was going to make 25. him like kind of like jump up. Well, he's going to look to the huh? right and then he's going to jump up, right? He's not just going to immediately. Oh, jump yeah, up. yeah. Yeah. So let's have him look to the right for another 25 frames. And right. of course, you, you can change uh, timing. Yeah. Later. So then use the uh, cowboy cons, right click on uh, cowboy cons and select objects. Now hit S. Okay, so from 200 to 225, he's basically just paused, looking to the right. And then, like Chloe just said, he's gonna get surprised. And what we just watched in the, um, you know, we'll, we'll build a, 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 an anticipation for him to go down and then up later. But for now, let's just have him go up. So let's take, let's say it takes, um, let's go to, I don't know, it, it shouldn't take, it's gonna be fast. So let's just say, at 2.30 maybe, go to 2.30. And then he's going to be surprised. Um, is he actually gonna leave the ground, like jump up off the ground? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and hit S as long as you have everything selected. And then we're gonna start with the, the um, um, base con and we're gonna drag it up so he's off the ground. So go ahead and hit um, W. Yeah, there you go. Well, hold okay. on. I think you have more than one thing selected. Just select the base con and yeah, in the perspective view. And just, yeah, just drag that up. I don't know how far that is. Um, yeah, and with lighting, you'll see the shadow underneath them. All right. Okay, so that's part of it. So right now he's just going up and we'll go through and fix it. But you know, when, when we go into more detail, we'll, we'll actually pose him like, we want to go from a C curve, like a convex, to a concave and go in and out of those shapes. So if he's up in the air, that's like a stretch. So what you can do is rotate him forward, hit uh, R E, and rotate the, the con forward, like towards the sheriff. Oh, towards the sheriff? Hit, hit Z. Yeah, not the rotate Y, the, the, the blue circle, the rotate Z. Oh, like this? Actually, go the, go the other direction with it, clockwise. Okay, right there is good. Now select the the waist, chest, and maybe the neck and the head too. Yeah, grab the other joints, uh, the cons, and the the waist con too. You might hit W because it won't let you select inside that circle. There you go. Wait, this one too. Yep. Yep. Should select that All one. Right. Now hit E. 
to rotate and now rotate them counter to what the the base con is doing there oh yeah all right so I'm now he, he's going he's he's like going c curve that's his stretch and he's not going to be up there very long but you know just like in animation we can cartoonize it so he's maybe keep him up there for a second i don't know a half a second so 130 plus let's say 150 for now and at some point you can have a little, little his feet the toes kind of wobble or something up in the air whatever and go you ahead said, and make a key yet. oh Sorry. i'm sorry uh yeah so also you you've just keyed the majority of them but you haven't keyed everything so go back to the, the cowboy con and hit s again or select objects right should i yeah yeah right click and select objects and then hit s and then hit s all right yep. okay so the next frame we want him back on the ground and we don't want to have to repose him and everything. So what we can do is just cheat and use a frame that you've already keyed. So dra drag back to like one, or I'm sorry, two. Yeah, somewhere in there. Actually, just, just after that. Like, let's say right. 210. 210. So everything between 200 and 225 is the same. So if you hit S right now, you're going to key um, everything. Now we're going to cheat and make a marquee around what you just keyed at 210. All right. And then hit W. And now hold down Shift. Now you're going to do all this in the graph editor. Hold down Shift. All right. And middle mouse drag after two. There you go. Yep. No, that's crazy. So that's, that's the most common way that I copy frames. Uh, there's other ways, but that's I like to do it that way. Um, where were right, we going to so, put this? I'm sorry? Um, where, where were we, we going to put it? Um, so yeah. he's just coming down from, from being up in the air. So probably just another five or 10 frames. Not very, it shouldn't take him very long. If it took him five All frames right. to get up, maybe it takes him five frames to get back down. So five frames? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe 255. So here's another way to do it. You can, you can drag oh. them like you are doing, or you can, um, well, you already changed the numbers. Go ahead and drag it out to the right a little bit further, just as an example. So she's holding down shift and she's dragging it. So she's at 264. And I know that because in the graph editor, even though I can't see the graph editor very well, to the left, oh, it says it over yeah, here. yeah, you have those stats numbers. If you select those stats numbers, the, the one that says 264, you can manually put in two, 255. And then it's, it snaps it where you want it to, to be. Okay, so go ahead and uh, hit the greater than sign on your keyboard. Just regularly or alt? Yeah, just greater than by itself. All right. Hit it again, again. So when she's hitting the greater than sign, she's it's taking her from one keyframe to the next. And the last one was 255. So she, she hits it again, it, it takes, takes her back to uh, 101. Um, okay, so he's surprised. Um, so when he lands, we want him landing kind of forward. So we, we had him up in the air where he was con, convex. Now we want him concave because he shocked it. The, the cop is there. So go ahead and grab the, um, the, the, con, the body cons except for the base again. Everything except for the base? Yeah. OK, right. and you're going to rotate him forward. So hit uh, E again. And rotate, yeah, there you go. Rotate him forward. Well, actually, let's undo that. Hit undo. And the problem is we want his his lower body forward, but then we want to rotate his head and neck up. So maybe just the 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 waist and the chest without the neck and the head. So let, let's you always want to start at the root. So grab the waist first. Oh. That's the chest. Just below that. There you go. Oh, and then hit uh, W so you can grab the the, ch the chest con. Okay, now hit E so I you can. I think that actually those. deselected it. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah. Okay, I think the head still selected actually. Well, let's go ahead and test it. Go ahead and hit E and rotate it forward. So everything's yeah. going forward. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna counter rotate with the neck and the head. So oh, okay. rotate him a little bit more forward. 
And it's going to look wrong for now, but we'll fix it in a second. Keep going. And this may not be right. I haven't tested this. Go ahead. So, okay, let's say that's good enough. Now I'll grab the neck and the head by themselves or together without the other ones and rotate that counterclockwise. Rotate those counterclockwise. There we go. That looks about right. Yeah. And we're going to hold that pose. We're not just going to immediately get out of it. So go back to your um, cowboy con layer and say select objects. So notice every time she's going to create a new pose, she keeps going back and selecting objects so that she can hold all the keys for, she's going to key everything. So 155, let's just Is say Is this another, normal? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to say just another, um, uh, another second or so. So you're at 155. Let's go ahead and say 175 just to get back on track with our numbers. You, you can change it later. All right, so he sees and, um, you know, you can do all kinds of anticipation to then leave the screen, but let's say at 180, I don't know, let's give him a second to get off screen. So good, let's go to 300, I guess. And go ahead and hit S. You know what, let's let's do this. Uh, go ahead and hit undo. So we don't have to repose it so much. Uh, we're gonna remember, we're gonna key it at 300, but go to frame 210 again. Or you know what, even better. Um, let's go where he was up in the air. Yeah, a little bit forward. So we're like at 240 or something. And we'll just use this as a right. place to start. This may not be where we, oh, you know what? Never mind. That's not going to work because he's, he's facing the wrong direction. Go ahead and I'm sorry, go, go back to 210. Or 210, okay. Yeah, and go ahead and hit S with everything selected. Now, yeah, and then shift and drag that stuff to 300. So she's using the middle mouse to drag it to 300. All right, now actually go to frame 300. Uh, I forgot, he's still looking that way. Okay, let's, let's actually, um, so we're gonna put him in his default pose. I thought 210 was his default pose, but I forgot he's still looking that way. So in your, in your channel box, select um, all the translates. No, not the translates, just the rotates. You have everything selected, just but in your, in your channel box to the right, go up to the rotates, all the rotates. And I want yeah. you to click on the number zero for rotate X and click and drag from rotate X through rotate Z, all three of them at once. There you go. Oh. Now it looks like they're all zeros, but we know they're not because we see rotations. Go ahead and hit zero and enter. Zero and enter, enter at the same yeah. time? Yeah. Well, yeah, you could just, there you go. So now oh. he's back to zero. So that's a, a really important thing to understand. Even though it says zero, if you have multiple things selected, it's only going to show you one of the values, one of the attributes. It can't show you multiple attributes at the same time. So if you have multiple attributes selected, like all the cons, it may be zero or it may say one, but it's not true because you have multiple things selected. So to put it back to default, you can just click and drag through those numbers and set them back to default. Okay, so we're back at the default position. Now we need to get them off screen. So at frame, um, so he was looking at 275, he was looking right. Okay, so let's pose him look, uh, running left. We're actually gonna rotate the, the base con this time because we're gonna get him off screen again. All right. Yeah, and rotate him to the left. All right, and let's say he's, let's pull him up in the air a little bit. And kind of like what you did before, we'll, we'll have rotate uh, counterclockwise. Um, do you want me to do it with the specific joints? No, just, just the rotate, um, I'm sorry, just the, the base con right now. All right. Um, so rotate him rotate counterclockwise. counterclockwise, yep. In blue? Yep. And okay. then you're, now you're going to grab the other controls and rotate them counter that. All of, uh, yeah, all of them all except of for the, the base con. Yep. And now rotate them counter. Okay. So rotate and clock, clock, clockwise. 
Oh, okay. There we go. So it looks like he's like, he's going to run off in a mad dash. He's hopping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now grab the, the base con again. And hit W. And we're going to drag the red until he's off screen. To the left. Yeah. All the way until he's off screen. There you go. All the way. Keep going. Oh, okay, man. good. Now, um, let's go ahead and see what we did. So go ahead and um, tap your space bar so your camera view is the biggest. Or actually, go ahead and deselect your, your, your character. Just select nothing. Tap the space bar once. Okay, now um, change at the bottom where it says 100, change that to 101. And then hit enter, yeah. Now, in the time slider, drag it to, yeah, go ahead and start from the beginning, 101. Okay, now go ahead and hit play. Yeah, that's really fast. Yeah, I think it's too fast. I think your playback speed might be incorrect. Go to animation preferences at the bottom right. Um, Keep going all the far right. There you go. Click on that okay. one. Yeah, it's play every frame. You see at the bottom where it says playback speed? Change that to 24 FPS. And also okay. update view. Before you say save, you have to scroll scroll down lower. Change update view to all, and then say save. All right. Okay, now go ahead and play it. Okay, so that, that looks a that's, lot better. That's actual speed. So we can see that we actually timed it too slow, but you have the keys that you can work with and just move the timing around. So just like you 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 held down or you made a marquee around your um, uh, stuff in the graph editor and you hold down uh, shift and uh, middle mouse, you can drag your frames faster or close left and right to, to retime it so it's faster or slower. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. Does, any have, does anyone have any questions about what she just did? So she's gonna have the other character come into scene, but uh, and she's gonna work with timing and make it make the timing faster and probably change her poses a little bit. Does anyone need to see any of that again? So one thing you can do, and this is just an idea, um, why, you know, from we're watching that video talking about staging, um, wide shots like this one are more used for um, big actions like running across the scene. Um, but you might, for the sake of um, uh, cinematography, you might cut, you know, you, you have him come into scene and then you have a camera cut. So you zoom into his face, it's just his face and you can see his, his expression or you can hear his dialogue cackling or whatever he's doing as a bad guy. And then you can come back to this scene and then he hears something. So then you cut back and you see him look left, right and then he runs off screen. So you can do a lot more with cameras. I mean, this is pretty simple, which is good. But um, you know, once, once you get this stuff locked down then we could probably uh, add more and more detail so it gets uh, to be a stronger piece. Do you want me to stop screen sharing? Or? Uh, well, I was just having you uh, run it so we were looking at it, but that's fine. Does anybody, before we, right. uh, um, Chloe stops screen sharing, does anyone have any other questions so we can use this example? Everyone saw how she keyed everything and she posed things and she moved the, 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 the base con, but then she also keyed everything. She didn't move everything all at once, but she keyed everything all at once. Remember, you, you can't move everything in your perspective or your camera view all at once, because that'll break the rig, but you can move the keys select all the keys and move the timing in the graph editor. That's what the graph editor is for. So you know what, do one more thing for me, Chloe. Go ahead and tap the space bar. And uh, go back to your cowboy cons and say, um, right click and select objects. So right now, her, her, her graph is in uh, what we call spline. So it's, that's why it's all uh, smooth but it actually needs to be blocked out in, in what we call steps. So go ahead and select everything in your, your um, graph editor. I think I accidentally might've done this earlier because I hit a button up here and it uh, turned yeah. it on the graphic. 
So now go to the, the stepped key, which is just above your mouse, just to the left a little bit. Keep going a little bit further to the left, a little bit more. Right there, the one that says step tangents, click on that one. Yeah. And now hover your, just instead of hovering, just go ahead and hit play again. And let's watch, see what it looks like in step. It's gonna look awkward. And a lot of students don't like to see their work in steps, but it's really important to get used to seeing your work in steps. And you'll just add more and more details to get it to be uh, polished animation. So in this scene, then the, the uh, sheriff comes in, he trips on a rock, and then that's where the, the scene ends? Yeah. OK. All right, any last thoughts? So she's pretty much going to do that. Uh, this is pretty much how everyone's going to work um, for, their, for their poses. And we'll just add more and more principles of animation as we go. We did a little bit with anticipation, but we can do a lot more. But we just want to get the blocking correct first, the key poses first, before we start adding more and more layers. And the reason is you don't want to build a lot of detailed animation and then it'd be wrong. And then you have to go back and redo a lot of stuff. It's better to just get the basics working first and make revisions to those. And then you can start adding more and more detail. But you have to make sure that the basic stuff is the foundation is correct first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop screen sharing and stop the video. Thank you, Chloe. That was very helpful.